George. Come on, George. It's Sunday at 7.40 in the morning. I'm on my way to learn how to save lives in an emergency. I'm actually really excited about this CPR today. I've wanted to get it for years now, but have always just been too lazy to A, pay for it, or B, I guess maybe it's first, A, even research where it's done, and B, pay for it, and C, go and do it. CPR, AED, it's gonna be a really good class. I'm really excited about it. I'm 20 minutes early. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I'm 20 minutes early. We're supposed to meet in the underground parkade. But I don't know exactly where. Somewhere... Somewhere over here, I think. We're supposed to be facing the Sharks Club, which is... I'm facing. Andrew, you're here early. Yep. There's no traffic. Oh yeah, right, yeah. There was, it's, it's nice there's, there's no one here. We're gonna be saving these guys' lives today. Learning how to. Back in the office. Save his life, Dad. Yeah. Save his life, I, I was, I was trying to do that, but like, Eric comes up. Nice. Practicing my life saving. George, come on, George. Saved his life. George is back. There, there it is. Proof that I passed sort of CPR. Oh, uh, focus. It's been, it's been many years since I've done CPR training and there's some big differences I noticed this time. One, the counting is a lot easier. It's just 30 and two, just simple. Um, you're no longer having to check for pulse. It's, CPR used to be it's like almost impossible thing in high school. It was like just as important as like a final exam. They made it seem like it was something that is like performing a massive surgery. Uh, and that always turned me off from it. I was always afraid to do it, afraid to actually trust that I knew the process. But now they've stripped it all down to the bare essentials and I like it a lot more. I actually feel like I earned this ticket and I actually know it now. So that's exciting. Oh, nice. Good, which one? That's the Evolve? Ah, oh, that looks hardcore. It's like the electric bike. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And there, when they made those laws, they were talking about the big old gas engine thing. You're right, yeah, yeah. They, you have so much control, and now like... Yeah, yeah, it's safer than a skateboard, you got brakes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and you can control your speed, you can... Speed. It's... We've all got to kind of rally together to make sure that they uh, yeah. change it and we don't get tickets. I'm heading this way. Okay, sure, I'll, yeah. I'll back up this way. Cheers, okay, it was nice to meet you. Yeah, that was something I was gonna talk about. This guy la yesterday, he got a ticket for riding his skateboard and he wasn't speeding, he, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't get it. It was, it needs to be insured or something according to like ICBC. It's just a massive money grab. It's an embarrassment. The guy's ticket was almost $600. I think it was $568. I'm gonna con confirm it here. I hope that if I get a ticket one day, it's while I'm filming. Cause that, I think it's I think it's absurd. It's 
I just read up on that ticket again. And I'm just getting more infuriated that one, that there was a ticket, and two, that there was a $600 ticket. That makes zero sense to me. These are electric. They are completely controllable. They go the speed of a bicycle. They're more sturdy than a bicycle because you have four wheels and not two. They promote activity. They're environmentally friendly. They decrease emissions. But then I think that's where it all comes into play. So I think ICBC wants to start this big war against electric skateboards because they can't make money off them at the moment. There's no way to insure them unless you're in a parade and then even then your float has to be insured. Like, what kind of nonsense is this? So there's no way for ICBC to make money on electric skateboards at the moment, which is exactly why I chose to get mine. It's a one-time payment, barring any technical failures, and it's mine. I don't have to pay gas. I don't have to pay insurance. I don't have to register it. I don't need a license plate. All of those stupid fees. I don't have to pay an admin fee when I want to change my address. All of those stupid ways that ICBC gets money off of vehicles. I get to work around all of that. I'm promoting public transportation as a result of these. And, in, and as a result of being environmentally friendly, promoting public transportation, promoting activity, promoting alternative and green modes of transportation, lands us a $600 ticket. Perfectly safe stop. What are you supposed to do if you can't insure it unless you're in a parade? You're trying to commute to work, you're trying to commute to school, you're trying to go anywhere. There's no rationale on the other stream than money making for ICBC or police quotas and tickets or anything like that. It's, there's no good reason. They're not unsafe, they're not dangerous. You're riding a skateboard this law is so outdated, it's irrational, it's regressive, and it is just a way of keeping money in ICBC's pockets. I think there's going to be a little license plate you have to hang from your motorized skateboard in the future. I could just, I could stew about this ticket thing for so long because it's unfair. But instead, I'm going to meet up with Mitch as soon as he gets home, whenever he gets home. And I think we're gonna play some Guitar Hero. Yeah, we're gonna play some Guitar Hero whenever he gets back. Today's five seconds of gratitude is living in a country where I'm free enough to find my own voice.